Hello, and welcome to this Control Web Panel tutorial. In this video, we're going to discuss email routing in the CWP User Panel. There may be times that you want to override the default routing of your emails, like when your domain is using Gmail for emails and the website is on CWP. To set that up, we need to verify our domain and configure the domain's MX records to direct mail flow to Google's mail servers. If you haven't already, it's a good idea to verify your domain before you start using Google services such as G Suite. For help verifying your domain for G Suite, please visit this following link for G Suite admin help. To configure your domain's MX records in CWP, go to the sidebar and under DNS functions, open the twirl down arrow and select DNS zone editor, or from the dashboard, scroll down to the DNS functions section and select DNS zone editor icon here. This opens the DNS zone editor module where you can select a domain that you want to modify. Just open the drop down menu and select the domain. This opens the table of user defined records and what we're looking for is the MX record. If you have many records here, you may have to expand your table to show more entries or a quick way is just in the search field to type MX, and that will find all references to MX in the defined records. Here's our MX record here. So to switch over to Google, we're gonna delete this. So under the actions column, press delete, and then confirm the deletion, yes. And that removes our MX record. Now we can start adding new MX records. So up above, we will click on Add Type Record, and we will select MX Mail Server. And here we'll give our record a name, and we'll just call that at. Next, we have to specify the mail server host name, and we actually have five of these that we're going to set up. So the first one is aspmx.l.google.com. For the TTL, let's set that at 3600, and that's 3600 seconds, which is one hour in time to live. And for mail server priority, we'll set that as one as the primary mail server. And then we can go ahead and save record. And if we look in the table below, we'll see our new MX record has been added here. Now we'll go ahead and add the second one. So we'll add a type record mx mail server record name at mail server host name this one is alt1.aspmx.l.google.com. TTL will set for 3600 seconds and mail server priority will set as 5 for our alternate and then go ahead and save that record. And now in the table of defined records, we have two MX records showing. And we have three left to go. So let's add a type record, MX mail server, record name at, mail server host name. This is going to be alt2.aspmx.l.google.com. Time to live 3600 seconds. And mail server priority will set as five. And save this record. Add another MX mail server record name at this will be alt three dot aspmx dot l dot google dot com dot time to live 3600 seconds mail server priority. Let's set this one for 10 and save record. And one more add type record MX mail server. Record type at, this will be alt4.aspmx.l.google.com. TTL 3600, mail server priority 10, save record. Great, now let's search our defined records for MX records. And in the filter table below, we'll see one, two, three, four, five. MX records. Priorities 155, 10, 10, 
with the primary Google server with Alt 1, Alt 2, Alt 3, and Alt 4 servers all set up. Next, we need to change the mail routing from local to remote. So to do that, let's go to the sidebar and under email accounts, we'll click the twirl down arrow and we'll select email routing. And if you get there and you find out that there's no emails set up, then you may have to go back to the email accounts and add an email account. So sure enough, our list of mailbox accounts is blank. So let's add a new mailbox and we'll just call this one info at the domain. And the password is set up and we can set a stronger password than this by clicking the password generator options. So we can change the length if we want to or change the type from alphanumeric to include symbols as well. And then we can click the gear icon to generate a new password. And that's automatically copied to our clipboard. So we'll go ahead and add this. There, so now we have a mail account. So now we can go back to email accounts and go to email routing. And here's our new mailbox account that we just set up. And the mail exchanger is set up for local. So all we have to do is select from the drop down box, change from local to remote, and then go ahead and change that exchanger and the update is successful. You can confirm if it was successful by clicking on the status button here and the output should show the new MX record. But please note that typically you can send and receive messages at your new G Suite email address in less than six hours. However, it may take 48 hours to 72 hours before you can receive an email at your new address. The time for MX records to take effect depends on your domain host. CWP has no control over this. In the meantime, you can get your email messages at your old email client. And that's how easy it is to set up email routing on the CWP user panel. For more information, please consult the CWP wiki at the following link. I hope you found this tutorial useful. Thanks very much for watching.